Hello, and welcome to Workout Wednesday for Power BI 2023, week 40. This week, we are expanding our options for space-saving labels on bar charts. So we are creating four different bar charts that show the same data that have some fairly long labels and adding a slicer to switch between uh, types of animals. So let's get started. I'm starting from scratch and loading my data from web and the URL is provided in the workout page. Power Query has loaded my data. I'm going to change the name to something friendlier. This is Animal Shelter Outcomes. Make my um, columns a little friendlier here. So let's say outcome type will change month year to date of birth. Do subtype. I'm basically just getting rid of the underscores and capitalizing things. I don't need color so I can get rid of that. Oh, I forgot to do some of these up here. Let's do those three. That's a bit better. Okay, small data set, so good enough. You can go back through and remove any columns that you don't plan to use if you'd like to slim the data set down. I made some slicers that use an image coming from my GitHub account. So I'm going to add those in. You don't have to use images. I just prefer it. And let's say type an image. All right. It's our data model. Simple. Go in and take type to animal type in our data model. So we just need the one relationship. Let's make some 
DAX measures here. So this is just animals adopted. That's not the only outcome, so we're limiting this down. And then we need some labels for our first bar chart. So let's go ahead and add a measure. And it uses the previous measure, turns it into a string, gets the breed, and concatenates that. So it says breed, pipe, number adopted. In order to put the labels on the Deneb visual, we also have to add one more, all the selected animal shelter outcomes uh, rows for that breed. So calculate animals adopted for what's in selected in the table. We're getting distinct here. This is going to help with the spacing and so that we can put the labels at the end of the bars. So let's get some visuals. We need Deneb. We need the horizontal bar chart from Microsoft. I chose to use the chiclet slicer. some text boxes here. Add my chiclet slicer. And we'll do Type an image so it's two columns one row in place I made my font a little bigger made my height 100 and with 137 it's a little better I went ahead and left my colors as they were and then adjusted the image split and put the image on the bottom. And there's my slicer. Up a bit. All right, let's get started. We'll do the regular core visual first. And let's populate that with read on the y-axis. We're going to create one more DAX measure, and that is 
label place. Oops. Label place holder. And then put the label placeholder above the animals adopted. It's going to look a little funny right now, and that's fine. We're going to turn off the y axis, turn off the x axis, turn off the legends. We'll go to bars. I chose this color for mine. And I'm making the label placeholder white. I'm knocking the inner padding down and the maximum padding up. And then we turn on data labels. There we go. Leave that stuff on auto. Make sure my background is off. All right. We need to go to our data labels. Select our label placeholder series. and put in our labels. Then we just need to add our filter. This will be up in by animals adopted and there we go so there's our first bar chart let's rename that real quick Core visual with measure label, and we'll move to Denette. We will populate the Denette visual with breed, animals adopted, and then that max all that we made earlier. So let's look at a couple things in here. We always start by having our data set. I adjusted the height in here using steps. The y-axis is the breed, but it's sorted by animals adopted. I didn't want ticks. My labels are aligned left. I offset them just a bit. They have negative one of padding. 
that was the first section. Now we're looking at our layer where our bar chart exists. I rounded my corners because I can. It's one advantage of using Deneb here right now. I set my height based on the band and then I'm using the first color in the Power BI color palette. Right now that's blue, but I can go and change that later along with my fonts. So the X encoding is animals adopted. And then there's a new mark, which is text. We align our text to the left. We use animals adopted. We have an X in here, which is max all. So basically this is populating this number over to the side. Give our visual a title here, and we'll say this is the Deneb visual. And there's bar chart number two. Now we've got horizontal. So for this one, we just need breed and animals adopted. And it mostly fills in for you. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my theme. Really, for this, I'm using all one color, so I don't have to adjust more than that. I do want to change my text. I decided on Arial. It can stay 10 point. This will be Arial 12 point. I don't need backgrounds and borders, so we're good there. There we go. Now our colors are a little more matching. For this one, it's not really paying attention to the color palette. So we can go in and fix that. Let's go to the bar settings. We don't have any overlap bars, but we'll take care of that. Check our font size and make it a little bigger. Actually, we're going to switch this. So I did a highlight color and darker text. And I turned on a line right. So the numbers are all in a row here. And that is our horizontal bar. The last one is a table. We use the default visual and we populate it with breed animals adopted. And then because I put my labels separately, and if I drag animals adopted in there, uh, it will change both 
always, it treats them the same. I created a new measure called data bar and just set it equals animals adopted. Oh yeah, let's go back and make sure we got our top 10. on all these. There we go. And we'll do that here as well. And then drag in data bar. Move this over a bit. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is change this to none. We will turn off our horizontal grid lines. Vertical is already off. Make our border non-existent visually I am going to add padding separate these out a little bit which will look better when we add the bars and then I've removed the headings. You could also leave read and um, and by removed I mean replaced it with a um, space. You can also just turn it white. So change your text color to white, leave the background color as nothing, let it auto size width. We want to turn off our totals. We'll go down to cell elements and we'll choose the second one. And we'll turn on data bars and then we'll adjust that a little. So we'll use the same color. There are no negative bars. I don't want the black on the axis to show up and I'm going to say bar only. So now we have our bars as well as a data label off to the side. We can then go in and change our values if we think we need to make them bigger. Like that. We'll give it a uh, title. This is table with data bars.
I'm going to turn off multiple selection on my chiclet slicer and force a selection so something is always selected. So that way, these are all now cats. These are all dogs. I like dogs better, so I'm leaving it here. Uh, if we were going through with this fully, we'd make sure that things were better aligned. We add our accessibility features, that type of thing. But this is the basics of the four ways to make uh, bar charts with space-saving labels. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.